The following video, regardless of how brightly colored it is, is not intended for children. If you or someone watching with you is considered a child in your country, you're not supposed to be here in the first place. Please read YouTube's terms and conditions and utilize the YouTube Kids app. That's why it's fucking there. teach you how to do Japanese candy kits. Not this specific Japanese candy kit, but this one, and this one, and this one, and this one, and any of those. Those. Any of those. So, Japanese candy kits are delicious and fun, and uh, a lot of people will look at these in the store and be like, hmm, that looks delicious, and they turn it over and they're like, oh, but I can't read Japanese. You don't need to read to be able to do these. There are a few things that you need to know just in general. For example, when you, when you find a kit and you look at the box, there will be, there might be, a water droplet like this. All of mine have this. And where's yours? <gasps> this doesn't have a water drop on the front. Dun dun dun! But this one does. So the first thing you want to look for is the water droplet, and that means that you're going to need water for the kit. Why do you not have droplet? You need water. You're making me sound like a liar here. Oh, oh. There's a little glass of water right there. Investigate your kit. Uh, the next thing is these two require a microwave. You don't need to be able to read the word microwave because there's pictures. It'll tell you if it needs to go in the fridge, but straight up on front, at least on crazy kits, it'll tell you if you need water and if you need a microwave. And these two are the same brand, and this two, these kits, oh, they're delicious and they're easy, and I love them. I also have this kit, which is not crazy, and it, from what I can see here, is going to be just as easy, <laughs> and I won't have to read either. So. The very first thing that they're going to want you to do generally is cut out all of the little pieces of the tray. It's got that here, and even here, a little bit. I don't necessarily want to take one of these out and show you, well, here. I'm going to show you how to hack this one anyway, so I'll give you a little bit of an idea. Keeping in mind that the more complicated a kit is, the more complicated it's going to be. <laughs> so, this one is one of my favorites. It's Netter 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 Ne. It's really easy to follow. Um, this one, in particular, is not easy to follow. The bags inside are not numbered. Usually, the bags are numbered. But this is a mystery one. And you have to solve riddles. I'm just flailing these around. 
you have to like solve riddles and stuff to figure out which number the powder is. I got real impatient one day and figured out how to hack this one. So I'm going to show you this. But first, we're still talking about trays. So you'll open your kit. And you will pull out a tray. The more complicated the kit, the larger and more complex the tray. Most crazy kits have this. This is your water measuring device. This information is important. Now you may notice, hopefully, that there's a little star on the bottom of this one. Sometimes, yes, there will be uh, little indications on the tray, like this. And on the back here, it translates, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. There are little, like here there's a star, so the tray has a star. You would do this in the little star pan. Do you see how that works? So you don't need to be able to read that, you just need to match up the symbols. Another super handy thing is that on almost all different packets will have different colors. On the crazy ones, they line it all up for you. Everything is color coded. So it's not, you know the packet that says jelly powder, I have to read Japanese, it's the purple one. <laughs> and it'll show you what packet's going where. This one shows it better. Actually, this one shows it really well. It's got the music note and the packet. And I'm pretty sure it even tells you to stir it. So that's very easy to follow. And like I said, on the crazy ones, it's even easier because they're large, bright pictures. So that's how you do a candy kit without knowing any Japanese. You just look at the pictures. Really look at the pictures. <laughs> Once you look at it and understand it, it's so easy. <laughs> and I highly recommend that everyone try a Japanese candy kit. Everyone. Now then. That's how you deal with all of them. Now I'm going to show you how to cheat this one. This one specifically. First, you need to know that in the original Netter 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 Ne, the base powder that you mix first is a different color than the flavored foaming powder. And thus, we can deduce that the foaming flavors in this kit would in fact be different color. It's what's true for one kit should be true for the other, right? Different colored flavoring in one, different colored flavoring in the other. In theory. I don't know if this works for all kits, I just know that this one in particular. So I'm going to change camera angles and give you some up give you some up close. Maybe not too up close. I made chicken for dinner and I washed my hands with the dish soap and 
I'm mildly allergic to it, so um, please don't get offended by my chemical burn. All right. So this is the tray, our water gathering device, and our instructions. These instructions say, without knowing Japanese, uh, they say you were screwed and you don't know what's what, but take one scoop of water and add it to the base. I don't know what else to call it. You mix up one and it's kind of like gooey and then you mix up the other part and it like foams up. So I'm gonna call it the base. Do the base. And then you have to solve some like solve some riddles to find the base and then you solve some riddles and add the second thing. So, so I guess I'll tell you the whole story as I sort myself out here. We found this kit at Sweetie Bear and I was so excited to see the little crazy guy that I just grabbed it, not really thinking. Then I got home and I wanted to eat it. And while I could have taken these and gone online and looked it up. I didn't want to. I want to eat it now. So this is the topping. You can tell because it doesn't have a riddle on it. Put it inside. Okay, so armed with the knowledge of the original netter 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 ne. I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. I just think it's fun to say. So armed with the knowledge that the base and the flavoring are different colors, I open things. This is a fine white powder. next one is a slightly pink powder. Do you see that? Do you see how it's a different color? So, I need to find a new word that is not so. And you can see that there are different colors. Next one. is white powder, but it's grainier than the other one. Actually looking at them, they are a slightly different color too. This one is more yellow and this one is more white. I don't know if that's coming up on camera. So, fine white powder. Sorry, fine yellow powder, fine white powder, the other one is kind of a pinkish, purple, what do you think of purple? I'm going to call you pink. And this last one should be and is it is another slightly yellow fine powder. What's the 
wasn't really showing up anyway. So in theory, if I dump these into here, they should be the same. They look the same to me. So I'm going to take some water and our water gathering device. And if I have done this correctly, if these will turn yellow. and not fizz. Yes! I am the queen of everything. <laughs> ha ha ha. When I discovered this, because I, like I said, I was impatient, so I tried this before, and that's how I learned that I could hack it like this, why I'm sharing it now. And, uh, my partner really wanted to like look it up and do all the uh, little challenges and stuff. And I think he doubted that I could actually like fake it just based on the difference in powders. And that was the moment that I realized that I can fake it just by the powders. <laughs> And it got me to thinking, is Japanese candy a hobby? Is it the sort of thing, like Japanese candy kits, not like good actual Japanese candy, because that's an art form within itself, but like candy kits, children's toys, is that a hobby? Can you be an expert in such a field? And if so, how do you get paid for being an expert in such a field? So here we go. They look the same. They both smell like lemon, like they're supposed to. And this is because they were both that slightly yellow powder. This kit comes with two spoons because there's two different flavors, which I really like. So first I'm going to take our pinky purplish one and pour it in here. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I really like Natter 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 Nay. I know a lot of people are like, Weren't you throwing up last week with that eel candy stuff? You're all like, I don't like slime. This is not slime. This is foam. Foam is not slime. Foam is foam. Like a squirrel. Not slimy. Like, like slime. So that is the peach flavored side. You can tell the flavor it is down here. Okay, so finally we have the white, mostly white powder. And this will be the melon. When I bought this kit, I'm sure I said before I bought it at uh, that Sweetie Bear place. As I'm checking out, the guy was telling me that uh, because of because of what this that I could uh, check online to see how it's made. I, I could check on YouTube. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just think it's funny that he told me that I could check on YouTube 
for the candy kits that I'm doing on YouTube. <laughs> uh, I was amused anyway. See? Foam. It's a little stretchy, it's a little... and then it's foam. Just don't come for me in the comments. Like, you threw up last week trying to eat slimy eel candy, and here you are with slimy natter natter nay. So, here we go. If I were patient enough and put this in the refrigerator overnight, it would puff up and become a more marshmallowy texture. Right now it's very foamy and stretchy but I am impatient, and I'm going to eat it now. Where did I put the toppings? Oh, here we go. Where is the pull here, dummy? Oops, and spill it everywhere. So these are just crunchy candy bits. They're not particularly flavored in any way other than sugar. They just add some extra texture. A bit of crunch. I don't know why I said it like that. So here we go. And I didn't have to solve one bloody riddle. Not one. <laughs> In your face having to read Japanese. Although I really should learn one of these days, just for the sake of it. Changing camera angles, and then I'm going to eat this in an outro, because yummy. <laughs> I'm back. Not that I ever went anywhere, but hi. <laughs> so here are my delicious natter 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 natter. So this one, see it's already starting to get more like floofy and marshmallowy and less like ooey gooey. So. Show anyway. This one is the peach flavored. I don't like peach. But that's still pretty good. It's like a little bit sour at the start. It's so soft and like melty and you get the crunchy candy bits. And it's not like, I want to say abrasive, but that's not the word that I actually want. Somebody tell me what I'm talking about in the comments. Thank you. And this one is melon. I really like melon. It's one of my favorite flavors. So this kit balances itself out nicely. It's one of my least favorite flavors and one of my most favorite flavors. Although as far as peach flavoring goes, this is really nice. It's like mellow. It's not like peach. I'm just sitting here playing with it now. I should actually do an outro. Comment below if you actually want to see me eat these sorts of things, or if you're cool with me just making it and then eating it off camera. Because I really, really hate editing chewing sounds. Anyway, so comment below if you want me to actually eat this on camera. It's too late now, but maybe next time. And subscribe so that you don't miss the video. Uh, I'm actually trying to get 200 subscribers in 2020, so if you could help me toward that goal, and if I've already reached that goal, you can still subscribe. I'm just saying. <laughs> Please do subscribe. And follow me on Twitter, because it's there. <laughs> and did I say like? Like this video, like, comment, subscribe, Twitter, join me next time when...
Um, I don't know. Or do I? Subscribe and join me next week when I do something. Thanks for watching. Bye! Sure. Camera angles, man, right? <laughs>